my name is Dean Burnell and I live in the Turks and Caicos Islands and uh, I grew up in Silicon Valley uh, way back when and I uh, went to a third world country and you know to be, to be at an event like this and to meet all these founders of the internet you know one day I decided to come back to the United States and to me it was like a light bulb switch going on someone just flicked the switch to say the internet's there and after being away from the United States for so long and then seeing the effect that this has had incredibly in the United States, but in third world countries where I was for almost 30 years, it's a really amazing that most people like myself, like the millennium people who are just starting, have no idea the history and the amount of work it took to actually get this all developed because we weren't here at the time. Wow, wow. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. How can we inspire kids today? to appreciate the internet and develop the next greatest products for the internet? You know, developing the products, it, it's almost like an evolution. It, we call it a technological evolution, but it's really our human mind evolution. And we have barely scratched the surface. And you almost just like turning the switch on. In the future, it's gonna be like, when you turn the switch off, how long will the internet actually be running on artificial intelligence without human intervention? That's the big question. What will it create on its own? Tell me the connection that you made with a dolphin and the connection today with, with, with the internet and, and other people in general. Help me draw the, connect the lines, well, sort of connect the dots. I'm known for having raised a wild dolphin by the name of Jojo for 35 years. And it's the internet relationship, if you want to make a comparison to it, it's crossing borders among species. There's no boundaries with the communications. And the internet parallels that from technology on one end and nature in the wild on the other. So it's almost like bringing nature into a technological world. We end up building trust through that because we trust nature, but not everybody always trusted the internet. But now bringing the two together, we realize that the internet is what's now protecting the planet. People coming together, unrestricted content that can go up and people feel like, wow, we can have equal collaboration. We can save the planet together. We have the technology to do it. And we all grew up around trees and plants, hopefully, yeah. and we get it.